All right, so the saga of terrible financial decisions continues in the Ducati Spacers household. Yesterday when I was up at Ducati Newport Beach, I actually had my eye on an 899 Panigale that they had there. For the last few months, I've actually had in the back of my mind that I wanted to get a track bike. And I was looking at stuff like Yamaha R6s, GSX-R600s, just things that would make like an easy kind of cheap track bike, something that would have a lot of cheap spares. Um, and it turns out I thought about it a little bit more and it made a lot more sense to get something Ducati branded. It's a little bit more on brand for the Ducati Spacers channel, obviously. So I was up there looking at the V4 Superleggera and they had an 899 Panigale that was super clean. 2014, had the Termi pipes, just looked completely spotless. Um, and so I talked to one of the salespeople there, turns out I can have it. So heading back up there with Matt right now, obviously going in the car because I got to ride the thing home. So. We're gonna go up to Ducati Newport, and next time you see me, I will be the proud owner of a brand new Ducati 899 Panigale that I'm going to use as my track bike. Very exciting day, so stick with me. Let's head up there now. All right, well, Ducati Newport's a little backed up, so we're gonna make a little pit stop at Dainese. Say hi, Matt. <laughs> uh, this place is so cool. All the AGV, all the Dainese jackets and leathers you could possibly desire. Look at these GPRs. Love this Rossi design. That matte carbon. I just have the GP single R. Now I feel the need to upgrade to the double R. Damn it, AGV marketing team. All right, we're here, Ducati Newport. The third time in like four days that we've been here. Seriously. Always some sick bikes on display. MV Dragster. <laughs> That's Matt's, Matt's baby right there, the dragster. Working on that super sport I showed you yesterday. And just a few more for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> All right, so I saw this Speciale and I just had to show you guys. It's number 1337. If you know, you know. Leads. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Clean AF. Spacer check. Oh. Time to make a video about it. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do for the track. Well, guys, the deed is done. The bike is purchased. <laughs> Let me give you a quick walk around. She's a beauty. Got the Termi slip on on there with the up map. Some nice little parts like the Rizoma mirrors, the DP fender eliminator the seat cowl, all of which is pretty much going to get torn off since I'm going to be using this almost exclusively as a track bike, but that really is a thing of beauty. It's funny because I owned one of these back in 2014 when they were brand new and I bought it here from Ducati Newport actually, <laughs> but it's really cool to be on one of these again. What is it now? Six years later and it still just looks brand new. I think anyone would be hard pressed to tell this from a brand new Ducati out of the showroom. When these came out, I mean, this body style came out in 2012 with the 1199 Panigale, and it was just so far ahead of the game. Nothing else was even close. And even to this day, it just looks so good. I can't even wrap my head around how attractive this bike is. Especially to really let the thing loose on the track. I remember taking mine to the track, but at the time I was a little apprehensive with it. Definitely not riding it to its capabilities, just because I was so nervous about binning my brand new Ducati on track. But this one, I'll probably be a little more loose with, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So let's hop on this thing and ride it back down to San Diego. Oh, that throttle response is so nice. Yeah, I'm not used to this seating position after being on the Street Fighter for just a few short weeks. Average consumption. What the fuck do you? Oh, there it is. Trip A, trip B. Yeah, there we go. I feel like most of the modern B4s and stuff, I think it's sort of like 
limited electronically, but they actually have kind of this feeling off the bottom end that like the throttle is being metered or like not being fully opened as much as you're physically opening the throttle. It just has this kind of feeling of disconnect. This does not have that at all. It just feels so immediate. It still feels sloppy. It needs a spacer kit, but <laughs> still the way the power comes on off the low end. They're so smooth, I'm surprised. I did not expect this to be so good. <laughs> I was kind of coming into this thinking like, oh, this will be like a cheap little thing that I can throw around at the track, but it feels so premium. Uh, I forgot about the joys of Kinigali ownership. Having your inner thighs and testicles roasted as you weave through traffic. I mean, this bike just absolutely roasts you. I feel like my inner thighs are probably at least a medium rare by now, approaching medium. All right, back home. Rode the 899 all the way down from Newport back here to the garage. I, as you heard in some of the GoPro footage, I just cannot even believe how hot these bikes are. I cannot believe that people just ride these day to day in traffic, especially places that are not California where you can't lane split. I was even lane splitting at 20 to 30 and being roasted. I had my legs flared out. I couldn't even wrap them around the tank because it was so hot. But hey, it's, it's a beautiful bike. I can understand why people love it. And I think it's gonna make an amazing track toy. Would I ride one of these on the street? Probably not anymore, now that I'm used to the Street Fighter, which seemingly has zero issues with heat. Hi, Matt. <laughs> I can't believe people can do it, but hey, that's why the heat shielding kit exists. I'll probably go ahead and get one of those installed on here, just so if I do ride it on the street, it's at least semi-bearable. Um, and of course, the throttle, the throttle slop is gonna have to go because that was really annoying when I was trying to downshift the whole way back. But yeah, beautiful bike. Lots of content coming on this guy. I'll have to do some light mods to get it ready for the track. And you'll probably see me out at the track, Auto Club, Button Willow, maybe some Big Willow action, maybe like Laguna Seca, who the fuck knows. But I see some great things in the future for this bike. So keep watching, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much.